Hey, yo, what's shaking? This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. And I got a question for you. Are you self-aware? Are you aware of yourself? Let's talk about it. These are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of rule. Wet dreams are made of so deep, so, deep, so strong. So strong. It's funny how right can go wrong. I still, I still miss, I you, miss you, miss but I don't want to stress the issue. You say, you say it's me. I don't want to tell well the issue. Yo, what's shaking? This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. Enjoying a delicious Maduro this morning. Top of the morning to you, wherever you are. That clip you just saw is from a short film slash music video of by Cap Cabernet entitled Never Good Enough. Now, that clip, uh, that, that entire song is actually about a woman that I was involved with intimately and um, honestly the whole album that I've been working on for the last number of years of course the album is entitled Crush Grapes 3 Confessions of a Lifestyle Connoisseur right but uh, a lot of the relationship uh, content of the album is based heavily based off of my relationship with this woman now I made the choice to walk away from this woman because she was extremely bad for my health uh, not just mentally emotionally spiritually but also physically and um, she had a lot of issues mentally emotionally spiritually And um, she's very unbalanced and chaotic, also narcissistic. And she refused to get the help that she needed to work on herself. Even though I tried to help her myself, I even offered to pay for, you know, clinical help. Of course, she rejected my efforts and told me that I'm trying to control her by <laughs> by trying to help her true story now recently this woman has expressed to me that she is now ready to do the work that I require in order to be in my life so the first thing she asked me is what what do I need to do And I told her, I've been telling you what you need to do for years. You just don't believe you need to do it. You don't believe you have the these issues and you don't believe you need to do the work. I've been very clear <laughs> about what you need to do. You know what you need to do. You've even admitted this at certain points but you just refuse to do it for whatever reason. Either you're not willing, you're unwilling, or you're just unable. But it all comes down to one thing. You're not self-aware. You're not aware of yourself. You're not really 
you don't have a, a, a clear understanding and comprehension of the issues you have and why you have them and how they're affecting not just your life but everyone else's life that is part of your life or in your life and the damage it's doing to your entire your entire world and so of course her reaction to that because she doesn't respond she reacts she's triggered it, you know so her re reaction is you're you're guilting me you're shaming me you're blaming me what about you and what you've done and what you do you're always talking about me holding myself accountable for my actions and my words what about you you're not accountable and this is this is the same old rigmarole that a narcissistic person or a person who is uh, irresponsible or who is not accountable or is simply not self-aware this is their response or reaction to any type of constructive criticism or actual help because they're just not willing or able to do the work or get the help so they will just they will just throw whatever you whatever you say to them they'll just throw it back at you it's like 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 tennis ping pong or something you know what i'm saying it's a game of ping pong verbal ping pong mental ping pong and so you're gonna have to really get good at ping pong if you want to deal with these people now individuals that have these characteristics and, th and this type of personality and these issues it's virtually impossible to cooperate or communicate with them peacefully because there's so much chaos and confusion within them um you can tell them two plus two is four and they'll say it's seven okay it, it, even if you show verifiable facts data you know research um these type of individuals they don't they don't lie what they do is they create truths <laughs> okay you hear these these people all the time talking about well, my truth i'm speaking my truth and she's speaking her truth and all this we need to get rid of that term there is no such thing as my truth okay that's just another way of lying creating a lie that you believe that's compulsive that's a compulsive disorder compulsive liars if you watch seinfeld which is one of my favorite uh sitcoms probably one of one of the greatest sitcoms ever right the reason why it's so great is because of the characters the characters and the way that they relate to each other now george costanza one of the standout characters he is a rabid narcissist he has narcissistic personality disorder okay this this guy his whole life is a lie right there's an episode where jerry comes to him and asks him how can he you know come up with a lie for this woman that jerry's dealing with and you know you know he comes to him at the coffee shop and says george you know you're the master how can you, you know, teach me your 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 ways and george is like well i can't really i can't really teach you it's it's, it's innate i can't teach this jerry's like please george please you know and george is like okay All right, I'll give you this. So you, you, you ready? He says, it's not a lie if you believe it. <laughs> right? And that really is what it's about. Okay? If you can convince yourself that something's true, even though it's not, then it's it's now it's now it's no longer a lie to you now it's your truth so this is where self-awareness comes into play 
Self-awareness is extremely sexy in men or women because no matter how fucked up you may be as an individual, if you know it, right, and you're, you take accountability and responsibility for that, that's the first step to doing the work. And that means you're honest. So you give people the opportunity to deal with you or not. See, that type of person you can work with because you, you already know what to expect. They're not these uh, chameleons behaving one way and then the next day another way. No, they are who they are. Okay, so you, you can take it or leave it. Love it or leave it, right? But when you're, when you're not self-aware... You just create truths for yourself and truths for other people. And you do a disservice to yourself and and everything that everything in your life because everything becomes a lie. You're you're unaware of the lie because now it's true to you. You used to know it was a lie. But now, it's your truth. So, when she asked me, what can I do? What, what, what do I need to do? I'm ready to do the work. I said to her, you need to be self-aware. Because I've spoken in great detail to you about what you need to do. There's nothing else I can tell you. It's the same thing. After all this time, you're coming back to me with, you know, with this I'm I'm ready to change business, but you're still talking the same way. So you haven't really grown at all. I, there's nothing. What do you want me to do? You want me to lower my standards? You know what she wants me to do, really? She wants me to She wants me to lie to her. She wants me to tell her that it's me it's not you it's me there's nothing wrong with you yes you've grown everything will be fine of course i will accept you back into my life you don't have to change a thing well cab what about you you're never accountable either no I'm honest about who I am, what I am, where I am in life, and uh, what I want in life. I'm, uh, I, you know, I'm honest about my my failures as well as my achievements. When I make a mistake, I admit to my mistakes. And I apologize with the intent of changed behavior. Because what is an apology without changing the behavior, right? So that's really all I got for you. You know, <laughs> that's accountability. Accountability is not making, some, making someone else feel better about the mistake you made right all you can do is apologize and uh, not make that mistake anymore but even if you make a choice being self aware that you could have made a better choice is being accountable and if that person does not accept that accountability from you you know which is the ability for you to correct your own mistakes then that's on them there's nothing you can do for them nothing at all don't even hurt yourself trying 
it's okay, you did your best, and the rest is up to them. This is common sense stuff. But common sense is not so common with people who are unaware of themselves. They're unaware. They're not aware. They're unaware. So what can you do when you care about someone like this and you want to give them another shot? What can you do? Well, you can give them another shot. But just understand that if they're not ready to be self-aware, nothing's going to change. I've given this woman numerous shots, too many shots. Okay, and at this point, I can't do anything. There's nothing you can do. Because when I'm talking about accountability, she's still talking about, well, what about you? <laughs> Guess what? I'm doing just fine over here. And I'll always be okay because I'm always self-aware. If something is not right, if something's imbalanced in my life, if there's some type of uh, something I need to fix in my life to move to the next level in my life or grow in my life, I'm on it. Like a hornet. Doggone it. You dig what I'm saying? Because I understand as a man of purpose and a man of growth that I have to be on it. I have to be accountable for myself because I'm accountable for numerous people. So if I'm not accountable for myself, guess what? Guess what? I can't be accountable for anybody. So I say all that ladies and gentlemen to say this self-awareness is sexy okay take stock of who you are every day try to live your life and do something every day that makes you better than you were the day before do one thing that makes you better than yesterday if you do that you'll always be self-aware You'll always be in a better position to grow into the best version of yourself. Self-awareness. This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. And of course, these are confessions of a lifestyle connoisseur. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. These are confessions of a lifestyle kind of sore. I'm pretty sure you never felt this kind of.